So today I thought we would have a little catch up and also try some new makeup that I've purchased recently. So stay tuned if you just want to get ready and chat. it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video I haven't done a get ready with me in I honestly think like literally months um I can't quite believe like how long it's been I've just been um like so busy with like, other videos like I've been doing like um some like taste testing videos some travel vlogs all sorts so just been trying some different types of videos so i hope you've been really enjoying them um but i've got so much lovely new makeup that i purchased recently that i really wanted to kind of uh you know doing these videos often gives me a try uh, a chance to like test out something new something a little bit different um and then also like just let you know <laughs> if it's good if something is worth buying or like what just you know worth skipping out on um so i'm just quickly doing my brows i was gonna do it before i started filming but here we go i just use the um the 17 precise definition tinted gel i don't like to spend a lot of money on products that i go through like quite rapidly and brow gel is one of them um also if you like these kind of videos and you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe down below i upload every Tuesday and Thursday, we're always here. Um, so I'm just coming off cold, so to be honest, I still think I have it. Um, like luckily, my filming weekend uh, is this weekend rather than last weekend, because last weekend I was like flat out, like on the sofa all weekend. Like I did nothing, I felt so unwell, and I still feel like a bit like blocked and stuff. And all these, that's the problem with these videos, I do so much talking. And I do get quite nasally. So I'm just prepping my um, eyes with the MAC uh, Painterly Paint Pot. I've been really getting into this uh, rather than using eye primer. Um, and I've also been using a brush because my nails are now so long because I've been getting um, Builder Gel rather than just regular gel. And my nails have grown so long. I do like having the long nails, but it does mean like you have to kind of rethink how you apply makeup skincare stuff like that um so yeah i'm getting my nails done next week because obviously valentine's day is gone i think when you're watching this video i will already have new nails which i love getting themed nails but <laughs> when the, when the occasion's gone i'm like oh i now have loads of hearts stuck on my hands also today is the first time i'm filming get ready with me with my back camera i normally use like my selfie camera because it's just a lot easier for me to like see if i'm in frame um so it's gonna be like high definition you're getting the full uh the full fantasy um but i can't see what you're seeing so <laughs> i did used to be able to connect my phone and like screen share it with a computer but the software stopped working and it was just a, a, a faff, so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be using the new Tarte uh, Maracuja Juicy Eye and Cheek Palette today. I bought this when I was in Malaga and um, yeah, I one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes is this one, the Tarte Full Bloom. And it really reminded me of this palette. <coughs> I will say the Tarte Full Bloom palette is better than this one. There's just something about the shadows. This is still a lovely palette though, and this is way better for travel. Um, and I also really, really want to try out uh, the multi chrome, the multi chrome flakes that we also picked up in Malaga. And this palette has got some really pretty, like pinky matte colors. So I thought that would be perfect to top with these so i'm just going to use the matte shades to create a bit of a base for uh, the multi-chrome shadows so what has been going on in my life i have got a new fan 
fence i didn't vlog about it um mainly because like i wasn't doing the fence myself um my fence uh when i bought the house was the fence that the house originally came with so it was very rotten <laughs> uh, dilapidated um i can't believe the fence actually lasted as long as it did uh but yeah it did and uh it wasn't until the storm that we had in january that a panel did eventually fall down um i wasn't planning on doing the fence until the summer but yeah i did have like basically a gaping hole into my back garden um like i did a bit of a bodge job and then uh, mum and dad came round as well and like helped me like tack it up but someone could have just like pushed the fence over to get into my back garden which um you know there's not really much in my back garden that you would want to take <laughs> but it's just nice to have a secure property so um luckily like i've been doing a little bit of saving recently good for me and then all that saving that i did ended up going on a new fence so i went through my builder which i would highly recommend doing i always find like getting quotes from um like builders and stuff is always it's a, it is a bit of a, like a especially as a well, I say a single woman I live by myself my boyfriend's obviously long distance a lot of you know that so when I'm like by myself it can just be a little daunting like getting builders to come around and give me quotes um so the thing that I love about my builder is it kind of gives you a little bit more control it hooks you up with I'm, I'm sounding like an advert for my builder this is not an advert for my builder I would just all, I will always use them um, for this reason because it just hooks you up with um, available kind of, you know, tradies, labourers in the area. You can look at their reviews and stuff beforehand and then you can pick five to come around and give you a quote. I would always recommend just getting as many quotes as possible. Um, they all do get quite competitive, especially with fencing. There are so many fences, especially in my area, that are looking for work but that just meant um i got some very competitive quotes the first one i got was actually the highest one um which to be honest i wasn't that like i i thought it was a quite a reasonable price but then the second quote that i got was utterly amazing and no one could top it and um i'm really really pleased with the fence uh, they were two young guys just kind of starting up their business and they really wanted to get like more reviews on their page so they gave me a really good um, rate and yeah they did a fabulous job so I got concrete post with a concrete um, like footing thing border thing so the fence isn't actually touching the ground which is just going to mean that um, the fence is just going to last longer in general um, it used to be that wood poles, wood posts used to cost a lot less, but because um, just since like COVID, the price of wood has skyrocketed so much so that concrete, they're almost the same price, but concrete is just going to last you so much longer. Um, so we went for concrete um, and I now have a lovely new fence and I'm really, really pleased with it um i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of like gardening or like my garden in general but it has definitely like made my garden just feel a little bit more loved um and yeah so i'm really pleased that i finally got it done um but i just feel like with the garden like it's just never ending like chores to do <laughs> there's always something to do in the garden so yeah i just close my curtains too <laughs> um also one of my eyes was majorly bloodshot yesterday morning it's kind of calmed down a bit now um but here is the matte base i think i might put a little bit of um just cream shadow where we are planning on putting um the multi cream just so there's a bit of a base where i need a brush I might just use this one um i will say these tart shadows blend really easily and i feel like if you're going for me this is a travel palette so if you're traveling you don't want to spend a lot of time doing your makeup this is perfect because yeah you literally won't spend 
too much time before you get a nice look i would just say the shimmers just aren't as crazy shimmery as the one from that um full loom palette they were just a little bit more muted which to be honest can be quite nice as i said especially if you're on holiday i'm very excited to be trying these chrome flakes i'm also a bit nervous though because i've seen some reviews on tiktok and some people say they kind of burn but i think that's because they've got alcohol in them to help them kind of like set so i feel like the burning is just the alcohol evaporating we shall see we shall see and um, these were literally four euros which i feel like is such a good deal there's the pot they come in two different shades but i will say the difference in the shades like aren't anything crazy these are a pink with a green shift and then the other one is like a purple with a blue shift but they look quite um oh so they're very jelly Ooh, i'm so nervous guys so i've just put some on a brush i don't know if i do a finger with these right i'm trying to <gasps> guys oh my god i don't think these are gonna like um oh my god these are so pretty um i don't think you're going to see like the full effect on um camera so i'm hoping that this head movement is helping catch the light wow these are beautiful. I'm going to try. Oh, but there is the burning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spicy. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm hoping that dies down. So we're just going to power through. <laughs> Pray for me, guys. I feel like it is dying down it doesn't burn instantly you wouldn't want to get this in your eye though so just be careful that's why i think a brush is definitely going to be the best applicator yeah it doesn't burn instantly but maybe like 10 seconds after you've got it on your skin it does start to burn but i'm really hoping that that dies down because i think they look so they look so cool and four euros well these yeah four euros probably four quid over here um i think if the burning stops <laughs> probably worth it if i'm honest yeah i think this eye has stopped burning so i think you might and i do honestly just think it is like alcohol evaporating that is what i'm thinking but yeah i'm gonna carry on doing my face if it's still burning by the end of this video, I probably will take it off. But it is like starting to die down. So honestly, I think I would use them again. <laughs> it's literally like two minutes. It's like, it's like getting your brows waxed. Um, it's worth the pain, worth the pain. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of um, worrying. But like, it just looks so cool. Like if you're going to a festival or something, I'm going to M&S food to get some of my favourite shortbread tea bags later. So I'm going to look very party party. Uh, but yeah, wow, they look so cool. Um, oh, well, I'll use this primer. I haven't got like a new primer to use, so I'm just going to use this same one. So in other news, uh, really exciting. Me and JP have booked a um, holiday. Um, it's for my birthday, so I'm so, so excited. Yeah, so we're going on a cruise, which I'm so excited about. Um, I'm just using the new NYX Pro Fix Stick. Um, it's a stick concealer. I love my NARS Pot Concealer, but it is quite expensive. So I really did want to try um, this. It's going pretty viral on TikTok. I will say this is a great alternative for the NYX um matte concealer it's a little bit more skin like there's a little bit more luminosity to it however when you look at the amount of product you get um this is three times smaller than the nars and probably if you bought three of these you're almost at the same price as the nars especially if you get the nars with like 20 percent off so to be honest i feel like they're almost the same price um so just bear that in mind guys always look at how much product you're getting because sometimes the more expensive makeup is actually a very similar price you're just having to maybe buy 
a bit more of it but that nars one i've had for years guys i've had it for years i think i know where i bought it i bought it in a house of fraser in victoria uh i think about six years ago <laughs> it is old but guys it still works like so nicely and i use it all the time it's not like i don't use it like i was literally using it every day so what can i say um, i'm then using the house labs in uh oh free fair rosie i don't know if i've even used this yet or i might have used it once but i bought so many concealers when i was in vegas um that i've not really been able to like fully enjoy them all <laughs> so um yeah this has just gets so many good reviews online I do like the fact that the doe foot doesn't get too much product on it. Sometimes when a concealer gets so much product on the doe foot, that's what they call these little applicators, um, you end up putting loads on and sometimes it doesn't look the greatest when you i think concealer is definitely one of those products where like less is like is more and I've definitely learned that like last year i think when i started using this brush technique where you put a little bit of product um on the brush instead of putting the product on your face and honestly it's made my under eye concealer just look a lot better a lot less cakey uh, i still get creasing because i have some really fine lines under my eyes don't we all ladies don't we all i know we're all, you're all going yeah tell me about it um so yeah i like that because I do think um, it's much better to promote um, just like less product when it comes to putting on concealer. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying this this method of application. I will say it's probably the most like skin-like concealer I've tried in a while. A lot of the concealers I've been trying is more like a luminous, quite creamy concealer. This is almost like skin. It's probably as well because it's probably matching my skin tone quite well. The amount of um, shades they had was was overwhelming, but also, you know, it is good. But, yeah, it, they had a lot of fair shades, which is amazing. Um, but, yeah, it can be, like, super, super overwhelming. Um, and also, they didn't have, like, the best stock level. So I was just kind of trying to work out what, like, the best one would be out of all of them. But I actually think this is, like, a really good shade for me. And then I normally just add like a little bit to this this little lot down here. Oh, I feel like if I had a genie and I could make three wishes, one of them would be to stop the spots I get on my chin. I know they're from uh, hormones, but they just, because I'm so fair, the redness lasts. But I have been trying uh, retinol. I have now used it, I think, around four times. You have to build up um a tolerance to it and because i'm so fair i do have set, like somewhat sensitive skin so i have just like been taking my my time with building it up um haven't seen any i don't think i've seen any improvements yet but it's i've used to use it four times so i'm not <laughs> i'm not expecting a miracle um i'm now going to go in my gucci powder that my boyfriend got me for christmas um i love this powder it's such a nice yeah it was such a nice little gift it's the kind of thing that you just like wouldn't buy yourself but, but you want <laughs> um i have the gucci bronzer which i think might be why he got me this because he knows how much i love the gucci bronzer um and the compact is it's stunning like such a nice thing maybe to put in your handbag um i will say that the uh multi-chrome shadow there's no burning anymore i will say like it did burn like a like a lot like it was uncomfortable but now i think it's completely set <laughs> and it's fine so i think if you can go through about two minutes of like a an unpleasant feeling not gonna lie it was unpleasant feeling on your eyes um then i take to be honest go for them <laughs> i don't know what the burning is I, I honestly do think it's alcohol though and obviously like that is essence like it's a legit brand so obviously they've probably gone through like testing and stuff i'm assuming anyway <laughs> um so i'm now going to go in to the cream products within this palette uh you get two blushes and what they call a contour i'm gonna 
swatch the contour first. I love that there's a little windshield <laughs> to protect. So here's the contour. Yeah, that's nice. I like it because it's not um, too, too opaque. So I'm just going to take a bit on my brush. I'm going to be using this as my bronzer because, to be honest, like, I know they've said that's contour, but it's kind of a contoury bronzer in my eyes. Like, there's definitely some warmth to it. But I will say, what a lovely formula. I love it when products um, aren't too pigmented. There does seem to be a trend for like pigment 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 well for me especially i'm I'm so fair i like a build i like a buildable product and this is gorgeous it's just giving me beautiful sun-kissed uh skin so guys i know the, the the shimmer shadows aren't as good as uh that bloom palette but it is a really nice palette. So if you have had your eyes on it, I know a lot of you guys also really like tart makeup. I know they get a lot, they get slagged off online by all the influencers, but I really like them because, you know, being honest, like when I'm doing my makeup for like going to work or if I'm um, on holiday, like this is what I want. <laughs> this is what I use as like a normal person. So um, yeah, really, really love this. I think it's a fantastic and especially maybe if you're just getting into makeup like this would be a great little palette because you can try some cream face products and you've also got a lovely eyeshadow palette with it i just think it's a really good all-rounder palette so i will link that down below i got mine in sephora in spain um i don't know if they'll have this in the sephora in the uk but i'll see where it is in the uk and then you've got two um blushes as well you've got i've used this one before and it's like to be honest it is probably my favorite and then you've got a pinky one oh i cannot see so i'm having to use my mirror those are a little bit more pigmented than the bronzer hmm i think i know i know guys you probably want to see the pink but i really like the peachy one so i think i'm going to go for the peach just because i think it's going to look better with what i'm wearing yeah, super pretty. I know that Tarte came out with some Maracuja Juicy blushes, but I feel like they were really pigmented. I did swatch one. It was like a hot pink. And it was almost like... It was so thick and like pasty, but I feel like these are a different formula and a nicer formula in my eyes, anyway. Um, but yeah, I think I... I look really nice guys I look fresh I look dewy um I am gonna use I haven't really got a new highlighter well I have I had this is the only new highlighter I've got so I am gonna use it but it wasn't um when I swatched it it wasn't my favorite this is by Miss Cop which is um what I got in Spain I don't think this is available in the UK I found it a little bit drying and it does remind me of some like old like makeup revolution um products does anyone remember them? And I feel like it's like a similar vibe. I am going to go like in the middle between the two shades. This was literally though like two euros. <laughs> so you can't be too harsh on it. And it's fine. Like it gives off a bit of a bit of luminosity. Is it the best highlighter that I've got in my drawer? No, but does it look quite nice? Yes. Um so we can't be too harsh on it i think actually as well a lot of highlighters now are so pigmented just this one's a little harder press so it's actually you know i'm not overdoing it because i'm like they're like getting getting right in there um but it is really pretty it is pretty and maybe just a little bit more subtle which there's nothing wrong with being a little bit more subtle um i'm gonna let's see what this looks like in the inner corner still do inner corner highlights i do every day <laughs> um yeah it's just a lot more subtle but actually i think that looks really pretty um i was going to use the uh, a shadow in um sorry if you um, i just uploaded a video where i do my audi haul while my washing machine's going and guess what guys my washing machine's going again but i'm pretty sure you definitely can't hear it i can hear it though and it's very distracting <laughs> um 
Yeah, and just a PSA, all powders can go anywhere. Like, you could use this as an eyeshadow, you know? So if you've got... Um, I always put bronzer in my crease. You could even put blush in your crease if you want to do, like, a really pretty, like, pink, rosy look. Always, you know, you can use powders anywhere. So, yeah, I always use a little bit of highlight there. But I also use eyeshadows there too. So, And you can also, if the eyeshadow pan is big enough, you can always use eyeshadow for for blushes um i know a lot of people use eyeshadow for their brows so just putting that out there um i'm gonna go in with oh, i love this and everyone knows i love this i always get given this and like the travel versions uh for like gifts from people because literally whenever like i go on holiday with like friends or family i'm like charlotte tilbury setting spray <laughs> i just love it I always like to set before I do mascara because the mascara will probably still be drying if you did that and you could get all gooby gooby goo. Curl the lashes. I do think I'm almost ready for a new mascara, but I think I'm going to be filming. I think this might be coming next week. Um, a uh, like fully key, a full face of Kiko. Um, there are some products I absolutely love from Kiko, but there's also some products that I really want to try. So I think I'm going to do that video. So um you can look out for that and i think i'm gonna get a new mascara from kiko i have absolutely loved this one from oh my god did i just get oh, oh guys no <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh chaos um i just got mascara on a hair and then the hair went literally all over my face <laughs> i can just Put, 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 put a bit of powder on oh god i've got that <laughs> never mind guys it's just makeup it just washes off i've got some of my, my my multi-chrome flakes i've loved and i've had a couple of people ask me what mascara i'm wearing it is the lash sculpt lengthening and volumizing mascara it is a like proper bristle wand which i really like and i've just really liked the mascara but I think I've had it open definitely for longer than three months. I did buy this in like a gift set with um, the, is it called Metal Rose palette? It came with that and their brow gel, which I love. I love ABH brow gel. It's one of my favourites. Um, and this was kind of just like, oh, well, I wanted the palette. I wanted the brow gel. And it, it came with this mascara. And I was like, oh, wow, you know. I'm basically getting the mascara and the brow gel for free. So let me just try the, the mascara. And actually, it's been amazing. And I've had so many of you guys like ask me what mascara I'm wearing. So um, I do think it is a really nice mascara. Um, is mascara worth uh, spending extra money on? I don't know. Um, oh, maybe. <laughs> um, I feel like you can still get like especially maybelline like maybelline's so good um at like at mascaras um and i also really like the essence princess mascaras but if you do want to like treat yourself to mascara this one is really nice just wait for like a 20 percent off sale like never pay full price for high-end makeup because there is always always time and place when there is a discount now onto something that I'm a little bit like, oh, it's fine, it's okay. Um, I bought the new Charlotte Tilbury. She did like a pink and red collection and came out with some new lip liners. Um, there was a deal. So they ran out of the shade I wanted in my local John Lewis. Oh, first, first world problem. <laughs> um, so I went online and I didn't want to pay postage. And they were like, oh, if you buy the lip liner will you'll get free delivery and you'll also get a mini setting spray and i was like well i love the setting spray so and you got just so i just ended up buying the liner it is quite light um i've definitely started enjoying a deeper darker lip liner as you'll see here it's almost like my own lip color just slightly deeper so it may be a little bit more of a natural uh shadow slash line so maybe it will work so there's the lip liner like it's fine i have been absolutely loving though these elf two pound lip liners and if i'm honest i've been using these 
more than anything, more than Charlotte Tilbury. So honestly, like, if you're wanting to try lip liners, buy the e.l.f. ones. They're so good. Uh, they're wooden, which is my preference. Uh, they're, they're two quid. <laughs> and they've got really nice shades. And they do go a bit deeper, which I, I have learned recently to go for a deeper lip liner. Um, just because my lips are already quite pigmented. But anyway, here is the lipstick in question. It's called Icon Baby. Um... I didn't realise that it had glitter in it. And uh, the woman at Charlotte Tilbury was like, oh, it's really nice because you'll press your lips and like, this glitter will come out. And I was like, oh, that sounds nice. You can feel the glitter, guys. Um, it's quite bitty, which is a little disappointing because it's Charlotte Tilbury. Like, this is an expensive lipstick. Uh like it's a pretty shade but for me i would want a deeper lip liner with this just so you've got a little bit more contrast with the lip liner but i do i do think it's quite a bitty lipstick especially for charlotte tilbury i think i ex i expect a little bit more like <laughs> it's okay would i buy it if i knew that probably not but it does come in like this pink metallic packaging <laughs> so <laughs> it makes up for it a bit but honestly um i think i look really nice i think i look quite um radiant if i'm honest i love this tart palette just tart products in general i really really get on with i found the house lab concealer to be very like skin like it's not too makeupy you could definitely build this up if you are wanting a more like full coverage like wham bam thank you ma'am but for my style of makeup where i don't wear foundation um i think this is really really pretty um the highlighter is actually kind of growing on me a bit because it's a little bit more subtle um also i loved the blush and contour from the tarte palette um these crystals these multi-chrome flakes You've just got to know your tolerance. I think for four quid for a bit of fun, as long as you know what to expect, like they are going to be spicy on your eyes. I think they're such a bit of a good bit of fun for four quid. Um, but yeah, just be prepared for the pain. <laughs> it's not painful, but it is a bit like pepper spray-y. A little bit. Um, and then the Charlotte Tilbury, like it's fine. I've got it, I'll use it. To be honest, it is quite a pretty shade on me, especially. So I probably will get wear out of it. But would I recommend it? I'm not 100% sure, guys. I'm not 100% sure. But let me just quickly get out of my nighty and uh, we'll finish up. So there we go, guys. The final look. I hope you enjoyed this super chatty get ready with me. Don't forget to look out for that Kiko video. I'm really excited to do a full face of Kiko. So if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to. Also give this video a big thumbs up and yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and of course I will see you all very soon. Bye!